Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to install an open VPN server onto your Ubuntu server or Debian server. I use it on a Debian server, um, but it should work with pretty much any Linux distribution there is, because Linux is great. Okay, so first thing, I know I'm on Windows, but shut up. <laughs> first thing we need to do is switch over to root user. If you logged in using your created user, we're going to type sudo dash s and you know, don't be stupid on root unless this is like your own personal server. Because, <laughs> you know, there's that. Okay, so first we need to sudo apt git update. That'll do that. Then sudo apt git upgrade. Yes. And then let this do its thing. And then we'll be back. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't die in that time. That wouldn't be too fun. Okay, so after that finishes, we need to run wget, oops, wget, git.io. This will be in the description below because, you know, this is going to take me a while to type. Okay, so after you've typed that in, hit enter. Uh, make sure you're in root. Okay, so I'm going to blur out a lot of, you know, public IP addresses now, so that'll be fun. Okay, so this is your local IP address now if you don't know what this is or if this is incorrect write it down or change it and then we're going to you know do a public host name um, I'm just gonna that's not actually a domain but we'll go with that one uh, we're gonna use UDP um, that's better, but you could use TCP, which will be a lot slower. Just use UDP unless you know what you're doing and you want to use TCP. Um, so, for the port, if you're trying to use this on a network that perhaps blocks VPNs, you're probably going to want to change it to something else. I use a completely different port. You can just add a 1 on the beginning or end. Um, however, I use a completely different port, for, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to use the current system of uh, DNS, but I tend to use Google. Or if Cloudflare is available, I use Cloudflare. Um, so now we're using, now this is the client name, so this is what the user is connecting to with. So I call mine RainVerm38, because that's what I use for everything. But we'll just use client for this one. So then we hit enter. So now it should be doing something. I don't know what it's doing now. It's doing stuff though. I'll tell you that much. So now it's generating a 2048 bit long prime number. Um, which is decent. Um, so yeah. Let this happen. And this will take a little while. Um, especially like depending on your computer but I have this on my desktop so it should well I'm actually not sure this is probably using a hundred percent of one of the cores I wouldn't know though huh I thought I only allocated one core to this whatever that's fine so this takes a long time to do okay so now that's done um, it did that a lot faster on my dedicated server, but whatever. Okay, so now it tells me where I just dropped a thumb drive. Congrats, me. So now it says it's at home slash rainform38 slash client dot ovpn. Um, and then you just need to copy that file over to whatever device you want to use. Um, I use it on my Android phone. And then import it, and you're good. You've got a VPN that should be working, and it's great. So, this is a really simple thing to do. Um, so, yeah, it's very nice. You can see this is certified until 2028. So, you know, there's that. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.